Oh, good. Woo! <laughs> so first morning in sunny Scotland <laughs> you can see behind us that um, it's not really much of a view it's very foggy today but we are testing out our new backpack the new carrier it's from Osprey and it's brilliant oh no let's not wake him he's actually been asleep for a while Look how sweaty you are. I know, it's disgusting. He's at an extra over 10 kilos. I think my, my poor legs have had to carry up 110 kilos. Hello. Did you just wake up? Hello. Hiya. Hi. Oh, your hands are frozen. Do you want to get you a little snack? Um, but yeah, great walk just to sort of clear clear away the cobwebs. Get us going for the week. We're going to um, start the descent into Ballater now. Go, and for, go a for a coffee. Pick up some extra supplies. Yep, and then drive home for some lunch, I think. And a shower. Yeah. We're about halfway down the descent into Ballater now. Jamie's Beautiful. already had about three ticks that we've had to yeah. <laughs> brush I off I stupidly leg. came in shorts, but I would have been even hotter if I came in they trousers. They hadn't buried themselves into his leg yet, so like, we were lucky. Got them off. But look at this little view. <sighs> Starting to clear. Yeah. The rest of them already. Already going, but... It's beautiful, isn't it, Rui? Woohoo! This carrier is just so good. Do you love it? It's raining today, so we've brought Rupert to a spa. Yes, that's right, we have come to a spa. Not sure how relaxing it's going to be because all Rupert can do is swim. But I'm sure Jamie and I will take it in turns to go in the sauna and the jacuzzi and just relax. Um, the group that we're with, our friends, they are doing a big Munro today. They are hiking for around six hours. And even though Rupert loved the two hour walk yesterday, we thought six hours, probably a bit much for him. Um, so we're having a quiet day while the rest of the group go on what I'm sure is a stunningly beautiful hike. And then we'll all come back together this evening for a lovely dinner. Jamie and I are on cooking duty tonight, so we're going to make a curry for everyone. Then tomorrow, I think the I'm weather's... Oh, Jamie's playing golf tomorrow. The weather's supposed to pick up tomorrow and Thursday. So I think we're going to do a bit of, play a bit of golf and then have a river day. So we'll maybe go swimming. There's a bridge that you can jump off. Um, we've booked out a stretch of the river to do some fishing as well. So we're going to introduce Rupert and me actually, and Jamie, we're, we don't fish. Um, so we're all going to give it a go. We're with people here who fish regularly. Let's go for a little swim. Swimming. You look happy. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Do you want to come down for a little paddle? You come to mummy. Hello. Oh, you're getting all messy. You could build a sandcastle, oh, Rupert. Oh, good standing. Oh. Where are you, Rupert? <laughs> Daddy being really silly. Oh, no. Uh, you can see the lodge just behind us there. Um, it's beautiful. It is a traditional Norwegian lodge and the wood was brought over piece by piece from Norway and built here. Um, and it's beautiful so I'll have to show you the inside of the lodge or we'll insert some clips now. Um, it's got a lovely fire in the living room. Our bedroom's nice and big. Um, it's very very cosy. Big dining area for dinners, kitchen, um, so Jamie and I were on cooking duty last night. We made everybody a, a curry, which I think went down very well. And then everybody got an early night because the rest of the group had done their big walk. We'd had more of a quiet day. You okay? You doing some vlogging? Um, we had a bit of a quiet day swimming. And then the boys have got up this morning and gone to play golf, which I'm very jealous about. I would have loved to have played around. Right, we rode. Look where we're going. Um, yeah, I would have loved to have played around, but someone's got to look after you, Rupert. So I thought I'll throw you in the carrier today because Daddy's been carrying you this whole time. 
and we'll just head for an hour's worth of fresh air just down to the river um, and then we'll head back for his morning nap and then we're meeting the rest of the group and the boys after they've finished golf in Balata for lunch. Do you want to give them a feel? Uh, what do they feel like? Christmas trees in August. Maybe we can have one in our house this year. <laughs> We're just in the middle of nowhere at the moment, heading down to the River D. We nipped there yesterday so that Rupert could go for a little paddle. And it was very cold, um, but I think I'm going to go swimming in there. Maybe later today or tomorrow um, with Jamie. We'll jump off the bridge. Lots of people jump off the bridge. Look at all the heather, Rupert. It's bright purple. So pretty. We were told yesterday that finding white heather is very lucky. So you'll have to keep keep your eyes peeled, Rue. You just want to look at all the Christmas trees. We made it! Woohoo! To the River Dee. So beautiful. We're on the bridge. Very pretty. We're just resting our legs. You've still got your stick. You're holding on to Mummy's hat. Uh, we're on our way back now. Look who finally returned from the golf course. I had a round of golf at Ballata this morning and I played pretty terrible, but it was a lovely course. <gasps> then went for a coffee. So, I said just before, I was vlogging with Ruth, oh. I'm gonna meet you for a coffee. We didn't make it to coffee because the walk to the village was a bit longer than I anticipated. And Rupert got really miserable. Got you hungry. didn't, did you? So I had to take him home for lunch and a long nap. Oh no. So after a pretty much a full day separate. Apart. Um, apart, we are walking down to the river and there's a big bridge that we can go swimming near and possibly even jump off. But oh, it's. Got stick, oh no. Do you need the stick, stick back? Do you want it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's not much uh, water in the river at the moment, so we just need to make sure it's deep enough to jump off. And then this evening, I might be going for a meal with everyone. Yo, uh. oh, I know, Rupert. Um, oh, I've got to stay in with Rupert. And Megan's going to stay in with Rupert. I don't mind. I did offer. Uh, I'm just not, at the moment, very good at putting him down, which is terrible. Mm. I should be. I should be able to do that. Um, but it is a new place. All that sort of stuff. I don't even know if I'm in focus or not. Oh. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to go down to the river, bit of a swim, and then back home for, I think, a couple of drinks. Yeah, we're off to the Five Arms, which I will be vlogging because it's very fancy. There's a Picasso in the building. Wow. Yeah, and there's another one. I can't remember what it is. It's, there's loads of art there. It's a very famous place. Hey. Rupert's been a bit grumpy this afternoon. He has. I mean, he's, he's had a good sleep, but he woke up. I don't know, with rosy cheeks, probably while well, teething. Yeah, we know he's definitely got some he's teeth got coming some through. Teeth coming through, so he's, he's been a, a little. He's a little not been pain in, in my bum today. He's not been an angel. But there's always tomorrow, Rupert. There's always tomorrow. Let's get someone to look after you while Mummy and Daddy jump in the water. Woohoo! That's cool. Uh, so you can just learn a little bit of history on on your walk down to the river. Should I do my best Scottish accent? Give it a go. Go on. That's little cluster of ruins or farm town. That was terrible. <laughs> that was so bad. I'm actually quite embarrassed because I'm supposed to be good at accents. You are good at accents. I haven't found my inner Scot yet. Just You've got to get time. practicing. Give me time, give me time. Because what are we doing on Saturday? We're going to the Highland Games on Saturday. We're going to see the Queen. We're going to see Princess Kate, Prince William, maybe even Charlie and Camilla. Who knows? Might be all of them, might be none of them. No, it's going to be some of them. And lots of kilts. Lots of kilts. Lots of kilts. There oh, you go. Yeah, that's lots it. Lots of kilts. Ready? Yeah. One. Two. Two. Three. Two. Three. Three. Go! Woo! Woo! God, it's cold! <laughs> I don't think I am either. Are you watching, Rue? Mummy's about to jump. Woo! 
Hold, hold up, Coleman. Okay, when you ready. <laughs> Cold, isn't it? Oh, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Get me out of this water. <laughs> it's cold, isn't it? Cold. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. Cold? Magic. Freezing. <laughs> This week is going so quickly, but this morning we have come down to the river. You can see here in the background. It is so beautiful here. So yeah, we've come down to do a little bit of fishing. We've got the river for three days. It's now about half 10 at 11. We're actually going foraging, which will be really good fun. Someone's taking us out into the middle of nowhere and kind of teaching us a little bit. Um, but yeah, my best man, Jamie, is currently fishing somewhere down. Oh, you can just about see the bridge that we jumped off. Just having a little bit of a wonder. I'm not going to do any fishing. Uh, maybe not today. Maybe this afternoon I might give it a, a little go. I'm sure there'll be lots of people out there who fish. I've never seen the appeal to it until you come to a place like this and actually you kind of think, I could just, I could be here doing nothing all day. It must be really meditative, if that's a word, um, but we're having the most amazing week. We actually went last night to a really fancy restaurant called the Fife Arms. Um, there's a Picasso in there, which is really cool. And then there's another artist um, one of another artist painting on the wall so I'll put that on the screen but really nice meal and then we went to they've got a really cool whiskey bar I don't know anything about whiskey but there's a guy in there who kind of shows you around asks you what you do like sort of other alcohols and um, tries to find you a whiskey that you enjoy so we all had one dram and that's what they call it a dram um, like a small Kind of like a shot maybe shot and a half i don't know how much it is but that was really nice uh, again i'll put some pictures in there was actually quite a lot of americans so i don't know if this is a place that uh, americans like to visit or if whiskey's a big american thing as well it's right by balmoral we actually went through the balmoral estate you can just see the top of the castle because the queen's actually here at the moment anyway i better get up to johnny because he's also a beginner and we've been taking the mick out of all the fishermen saying we're the ones who are going to catch a fish so if i missed it Hopefully someone catches a fish, because it would be nice to be able to show you guys. In Scotland, it's all catch and release. We've been learning a lot about the salmon sort of ecosystem and all that sort of stuff, and how many salmon now don't return, which is really sad. So if we do catch something, it will obviously be going back. Jamie, my best man, has promised that there will be a fish caught this week. So we've got three days of it, uh, today, tomorrow, and then I think they're gonna go fishing early Saturday before we go over to Braemar um, Games and go meet the Queen. Fingers crossed. I need to go buy Rua Kilt actually as well. Hello, Peekaboo! What are we doing, Rue? You can go and pick your supper. You have to look out for some blackberries, Rupert. He's already had one. All right, lead the way. There's male and female nettle. The male seeds are like those, you see? They is that go a, a male bit. Male nettle? That's a male nettle. Oh. And that's a female nettle. Next to each other, cute. <laughs> I mean, it's a tiny prickle, but it's not hurting. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's not a good photo. Yeah. Are you trying a nettle? But you can. But those nettle seeds. seeds. There's more vitamin C in these than orange. What does it taste like? They, they have super rich it's of nettle, vitamin C but it and gives also a little prickle. potassium, magnesium. Oh, the on the tongue. Yeah. I, um, I taste figs. We put them. Oh. No. Well, I was going. No, no, take it now. This is this is the one. It smells of grapefruit. <laughs> Want to try some wood sorrel? Do you want to hold it then? There we go. This place is honestly so beautiful. We're just walking through a little forest, doing some foraging, and at the end there, by the opening, is a beautiful lake. Intense flavor. Yeah. So we've just been foraging. I think we just found some magic mushrooms which obviously we left where they were. But I'm just heading back now to Meg because Megan had a little lunch with Rue. Uh, the other guys are just coming up behind us. And they're probably gonna head back, get Rue to sleep, and go down to do some fishing. It's just so beautiful here, you kind of, I mean, look at that. I heard you shouting and I thought you were unhappy. Do you wanna say hello? 
What have you been doing with Mummy? Oh, he's been loving it by the lake. Have you been taking gorgeous photos? Yes. Mwah. Just and watching him fish? He just caught a fish, Rupert. Do you think we're going to catch a fish later? Uh, no. I don't think so either. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy. yeah. Daddy. 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 Look at this beautiful scenery. Oh, yeah. Yes, Dada. Dada. <laughs> So foraging this morning was a lot of fun. Um, I learned so much. Um, Frederica, who took us, is incredibly knowledge knowledgeable. So thank you to her. Um, and yeah, it was great. So we headed back to the lodge so that Rupert could have his afternoon nap. And now we have driven down to the river because the rest of the group have been fishing all day. Um, so we are about to join them. This will be Rupert's first fishing experience. I wonder if you'll catch any fish, darling. Are you going to catch some salmon? Oh, come on then. Off you go. I'm gonna catch you my shoelaces. Oh, I got a bite! I got a bike! Oh, he got away. Oh, Rue, we didn't catch any, did we? We were told by De Jamie's dad that there is zero percent chance of catching a fish here. <laughs> On this particular stretch of On the river. Lake, but our friend it. Jamie was successful this morning. Yeah, he caught a salmon. We'll stick it on the screen. Yeah. So they do exist. They do exist. We, we should say um, we let them swim away. Everyone here. Oh, I said that earlier. Catches that them. In Scotland, it's, it's all catch. It has to be catch and release. Catch and release. Legally. Catch and release. Because of the numbers are getting so low. Hey, that's your fishing rod. All right, Rue, let's get Eat you home. Back. Oh, you want to do it? No. That's it. Another adventure. Where are we going today, Rupert? Ask Daddy, because Mummy's forgotten the name. Bernavat. A nice walk right. and a nice waterfall. We're on the hunt for some waterfalls. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Just stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. Are you going to dance? I know. Dance? I know that you're going to have it your way. You're nothing at all. Well, that was a lovely walk around the lock, um, really beautiful. But we're heading back towards the car now because we didn't quite realize that the waterfall wasn't en route. So we're gonna head back to the car and try and find it. Finally he's out. It took a while. It took a while, it took forever. He woke up at seven, normally has a nap at quarter to ten and he went out at 11. 11 so just far too much going on he was uh, too excited but hopefully he'll be awake for the waterfall now so maybe it's worked out well where are we off to now Rupert I'm okay. gonna go see a waterfall oh this is cool oh a bit of an interesting walk to the Bernavat waterfall <laughs> is this it? Oh wow! Ready? Go on then. Watch your head. Good evening. Look at this beautiful spot. 
Uh, we've just popped down to the pub in a Boyne. Uh, everyone's having a bit of a drink. They've been um, fishing today. We're just having a quick drink. Tomorrow is Saturday, which is the Braemar Highland Games, which we're going to, which hopefully the Queen's there. I think she might not be, but Prince Charles, um, Prince William, a lot of the royals will be there. But we just wanted to end this part of the Scottish trip and just quickly say thank you very much for watching. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting this little man as well. It means the world to us that you guys watch our videos. So um, tune in next week for part two, where fingers crossed we see the Queen, some of the royals. Maybe you get to meet one, because we've met some of them. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, get pushed in front of other people, subscribe, please leave us a comment. Let us know if you would ever want to visit the most gorgeous place. As I said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.